Okay, so there's a lot of videos out there on how to turn your washer into a fire pit. I'm going to show you the real nitty gritty on how to do it. So we've got a Kenmore washer here. And first thing you want to do is take off the sheet metal around the washer. That's the easy part. So you just uh, get into the back of the washer, take some screws out, and really, with most washers, you can just slide the uh, sheet metal off. And then you get to this top, the spindle here, and just pop this plastic top off right there, and then you can slide the spindle out. Once you slide that out, then you'll have access to the actual drum. But that's just getting started. So once you get access to the drum, now comes the hard part. We'll go to that next. Okay, so I moved the carcass outside. Got a little more room to work out here, and it's still pretty heavy. And here's a piece of the flange, the nut flange on top of the spindle. After you pull the plastic spindle cover off, you're going to see this axle, and that's got a flange around it. This is very corroded. You can see, I'm getting underneath here, you can see where part of that flange was right up against the spindle assembly, and it was a real bear to get off. So what I did was I took a reciprocating saw and I sawed in a couple of spots, three spots in, in my case, two should probably work for you, but I sawed right here and then I moved around and I sawed right there and I sawed all the way through this flange nut or whatever it's called. I don't know what the technical term is, but anyway, uh, I also got over here. So I made three, three pretty deep cuts into this nut that's around that axle cut all the way through and that's some solid metal by the way this is a spanner wrench what's called a spanner wrench I have one it didn't do any good at all I used it and I just couldn't get this flange nut off to, to save my life so if you don't have one of these don't bother getting one it's probably not going to help you anyway once I made those cuts with the saw then I got in there with a chisel and I started breaking apart this flange nut that thing was so corroded on there that I needed a chisel to finish the work. And then I just got in there and chiseled that nut off, or the pieces of it anyway, because I had it broken up into three or four pieces, and I needed to chisel every one of them off. Okay, so once I got that spanner nut off, I flipped the beast on its side, and that way I could access the bottom of it. What I did was I just got a pair of bolt cutters, and I snipped the springs. There's three springs in this particular model. I snipped those, and then I got under here where the actual motor is, and there were three big bolts holding that motor in place. So I loosened those up, I removed those, and that allowed the axle to pretty much slide off of the carcass. So snip those springs, remove those bolts, and that way you can get the main drum assembly apart from the motor. One other thing you want to do here, there's going to be a hose connecting the top assembly to the bottom assembly. Just use a razor knife to slice that. That's what I did here. And that way you can remove the two assemblies apart from each other. All right, so we removed the top assembly from the bottom assembly where the motor is you got to really whack at this spindle. You can see how corroded it is right there. It's pretty bad. And then at the bottom, we've got this little plastic thing we got to remove from the drum itself. So I just got in there with a, with a screwdriver, a good sized flathead screwdriver, and really just pried it off. And that took some doing, but you want to get that out of there because you certainly don't want to have a fire going with a full of plastic underneath it. You can see all that corrosion, but anyway, this thing is nice and lightweight. I mean, it's it's nice and fireproof, but it's also lightweight. Okay, here's our former washing machine drum, now working as a fire pit. Used it about three or four times. Here it is in our backyard. And I'm just uh, showing you without any lighting how this bad boy works. It's got some holes along the side, which is great. Gives a lot of air to the fire. 
gives you some heat, lets you see the fire. It's better than the average fire pit, frankly. So hope this video helped you create your own fire pit and enjoy.